Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am starting this vlog off with just waking up <laughs> and still having my retainers in. So, <laughs> today is going to be a um, day in my life and you'll kind of see like what I do from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to bed. Um, so yeah, so I figured I would show you today. So first thing I do when I get up is I brush my teeth. I don't know why, I just literally cannot talk to anyone or go anywhere without like brushing my teeth, washing my face. So that is what I'm going to do right now. I have like a little headband that I just put on because my hair is like breaking. Um, I've always had these little guys that make you look like that thing from Harry Potter. But like the back right here, I learned that you can like lose your hair after you had COVID. So, I can't even think about that because I don't know why, like, I just, I literally just recently cut my hair and dyed it and I, like, liked it long, so, I don't know, it's kind of <laughs> getting to me. But anyways, hair is just hair, it's fine. So, I take my retainers out and then I start by brushing my teeth, um, I use the Crest 3D White Brilliance. So now that I have brushed my teeth, I also use Crest Brilliance um, mouthwash. So after I after I rinse um, my mouth, I'm gonna use this new facial cleanser that I got. Um, I didn't get it for Christmas. I bought it. Like, a, like a month ago and I've been using it and I really like it. Um, I kind of have like normal to dry skin so it's a good one. So I just kind of put some on. Also, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to keep this in but if I do. Um, if I can figure out how to put the comments on because I learned that I can't. Let me know if you brush your teeth with cold water or hot water. Or like warm water because my boyfriend uses hot water when he brushes his teeth and I use cold water but I've used cold water my entire life so I don't know if it's just something like I grew up learning or people really use cold water and he's the weird one so <laughs> let me know in the comments what type of water such a weird question what type of water temperature you use with last thing i'm gonna put on is the ordinary caffeine <laughs> solution Don't giggle. oh god mom it's too early um so I just put a little bit on my eyes. I showed this in my What I Got for Christmas um, video. My dark circles. Also, if I'm applying this wrong and too much, I do it every morning and every night. Let me know. I'm no beauty guru. Okay, so that was it. So now um, let's go make some breakfast. Okay, so now I'm going to make some breakfast. Normally, it depends on like the day. Um, sometimes like I'll have eggs or whatever, but... I'm gonna work out and I'm gonna also have like a protein shake type thing later. So um, I'm just gonna do like a little yogurt parfait type thing. So I just take non fat yogurt. I literally, this is the Market Basket brand. <laughs> like, you can take any, it doesn't really matter. Um, or like Greek, if you like Greek. I just, something about Greek, I don't know why, I just can't eat it. I actually, this is a funny story. It took me years to start eating yogurt. Like, I couldn't get over the texture. I'm someone that's like really big on like textures and like tastes and stuff like I can't chew gum it's just the texture weirds me out um so yogurt took me a very long time to like like so we actually don't have any like granola in the house which is so weird because I feel like normally we always have like some type but I guess we can like go without it even though I love it I normally get the ones with um from like nature valley i think and they're like the broke up granola bars so like it so now what i did is i just cut up some banana um 
So next thing that I do is I either put like raspberries or strawberries or both in there, but today I have raspberries. So I'm just gonna rinse some of these and put them in there. Just So I just kind of like plop these in here. When you guys see what this looks like, it does not look artsy at all. Um, <laughs> sometimes I make it cute and then other times I just kind of like throw them in there. I take some honey. This is actually a new thing I'm I was started to do. I saw it in like a someone's vlog and they put like honey in it and it looks so good. So I just drizzle a little bit of honey on there. I can just kinda show you. Look, it's like not artsy at all, but I just kinda take a little bit and drizzle it in there. Normally it looks better because I have granola but it's okay yeah and this is what it looks like very plain normally there's like granola so it looks a little better but <laughs> just a plain thing so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and then I will see you guys in a minute so we are back in the kitchen <laughs> I'm gonna make a protein powder normally I make one before I go work out I'm trying to gain a lot of muscle instead of losing weight so I need to like supplement some stuff and I heard taking protein powders are helpful. Um, this is the protein powder I'm using. Also if anyone knows anything about like protein powders, this protein powder, workout tips, anything like leave a comment because I'm trying to get a good protein powder and I see a lot of people like dry scooping if that's what it's called their protein powder and honestly I wouldn't mind doing that. But this scoop is huge. Like, I'm not even kidding. So, I can't even do that. I tried it one day and it just went everywhere. So, and then, if I'm reading this, it's telling me I need two scoops, which is so much. So, I literally do like one, maybe like half of one. And I um, put it because it's saying two scoops equals six jumbo eggs. Like, I'm not trying to go gain that much weight that quick because I don't work out that much but I'm just trying to gain muscle you know like not, I'm, not, not, I'm not trying to bulk up either so if there's like a happy medium and you guys know it please let me know because I just have no idea all right so I'm just gonna mix this up really quick my car has been like warming up for like a hot minute now so I'm gonna drink this in the car um also, I feel like I should have one of those water bottles, but again, trying to save money, <laughs> using what I have. So I'm just using like a Framingham State water bottle. But anyway, so I'm going to get ready, get all my stuff, head to the gym, and I will see you guys there. So I just got to the gym. I'm just drinking my like protein shake here. So I wanted to come on and like talk about um, something I saw on my Instagram. My battery's flashing, so I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get through all of this. But it was about how a person on TikTok, a male posted a TikTok about how females go to the gym and only do legs and do unnecessary things and this and that. And I'm not going to be able to say it as good as this girl said it. She did like a duet of it or like a, I don't know how she did it, whatever. I'm not like that techie either. So, um, but she said it so well and I'm not gonna be able to say it so I'm just gonna kind of give my opinion on it. So this guy was posting a TikTok about how he was making fun of females at the gym saying like we work out legs five times a week and we do unnecessary bands and all that. And it just kind of like made me like disgusted with this guy because it's so frustrating to hear guys say that for me myself going to this gym right now this is my second day so I'm not gonna go in and like film my workout I might do that like a different time because I just am new to this gym and I'm trying to figure out where things are but guys that go to this gym act like they know more than they do or act like they are better than this person or better than that person and for me it makes me like a little uncomfortable I'm not even gonna lie because they'll stare at other people stare at me whatever and it just like makes me aggravated because why, like just mind your business. Like why does it matter what I'm doing? Like how is that affecting you? There's like a lot of football players and athletes and I'm an athlete myself but I still feel like intimidated by these people because of the way that they portray themselves or act around females. And back to this TikTok, 
it doesn't matter what a female does at a gym. It doesn't matter if a female works out. It doesn't matter anything because a woman's body's not a trend. And many people, I feel like, think that or say things that kind of relate to that statement. For me and myself, I have, it's been a long time, I'm not even gonna lie. I've been happy, like I, my whole life I've been happy. Like I have a great family, I have good friends, I have a roof over my head, like I have all these things, but I was never doing stuff that made me truly happy for myself. So I'm going to the gym to better myself, not to, go on this trend not to um like make like anyone else be happy over my body like I'm truly doing this for myself I've started vlogging for myself because it was something I wanted to do so for a, a very long time I was doing things just because I was supposed to do them or just because it was like a college thing or whatever but now like the first time in a while I actually am starting to do stuff on my own for myself and it's so great so when there's people out there that make comments like that and say things like that it frustrates me because people are just trying to be the best version of themselves one last thing is I was watching a YouTube video by Rachel um, I don't know how to pronounce her last name. It's, um, like R-A-T-K-E or something like that. She was doing a video on, like, the five things on how to better your 2021 or whatever. And one of them said, drink water and mind your business. And she talked about this exact point on how just mind your own business. Like, people should do what they want to do to make themselves happy and there shouldn't be people out there that are trying to diminish that so that was my little rant i'm very like big into topics like this women's topics like making women feel better about themselves and stuff like that i also feel like there are guys out there that need this too so I don't want to just be like oh women 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 but I I feel like women have a little more difficult time because of men that say things like that again I am like very passionate about like women's stuff women's like positivity body positivity all of that because maybe I can do a little story time that would be like a really good video that I could do about like motivation and stuff because I have definitely changed over the years if you knew me in junior high I'm different than I was in high school if you knew me in high school I'm a completely different person than I am now I think my mentality is very different the things that I respect are very different um the things that motivate me are very different so I think that would be a very good video that I could do if you would like to see that you can comment down below I have a lot of good like story times on like how I became who I am how I don't care about what people think like that type of stuff um also I'm not I'm not gonna say I'm 100 about that because I do care sometimes what people think but I definitely am better than what I was like two years ago even last year even at the beginning of 2020, I am a complete different person. So, again, like, if you would like to see that, please let me know, because I would actually really like to do that. Okay, so, I'm going to go into the gym here and do a little workout, and I will catch you guys after. I just got back from the gym, and before I make lunch, I just want to show you these shoes that came in the mail yesterday. My boyfriend and I made um, custom shoes, so they're just like the Nike Air Forces, and we got custom shoes. So these are his. He has like the red lace, cute, the back of his um, says, this is his initials, his name is Giovanni, I call him G if anyone knows that, uh, if anyone doesn't know that. Um, so he got his initials, his soccer number, and then family over everything, it looks so good. So cute. Um, then these are mine, and they're literally like the exact same. I didn't get anything on the back because I'm so indecisive and I never can figure out what I want or whatever. So I just got these, um, and they're the exact same shoe. Oh gosh, he's gonna laugh at me because I tried to show sh these shoes to him on FaceTime, and it was like so difficult for me. But they're the exact same shoes, um, just different laces because I think we're gonna do like one red and one blue. 
So yeah, so we just got cute matching sneakers. I'm literally obsessed, um, especially because I needed new shoes anyways. So yeah, so these can get added to my collection, my very small collection of shoes. <laughs> All right, it's much later. <laughs> I had lunch, I took a shower, um, I just like brushed my hair, whatever. But I figured that I would do a little face mask. Um, tomorrow's New Year's Eve. I'm going to the Cape, so I figured I would do like a little kind of self-care day, whatever. Plus, this thing is like getting bigger and I hate it. <laughs> so, I'm just going to clip my hair up like this. So, um, what I'm using is I took out, this is the little brush I got for um, Christmas. It has like this end. To apply like your masks and then it has this end if it can focus that end and it's like a little like brush to like I don't know cleanse or whatever um, so the products I'm using is these Florence by Mills eye masks they're so cute they're kind of expensive honestly I got them at Ulta um, but I kind of want to get like a skin fridge, a skincare fridge, and put like my face mask, these like little eye patches. I have a face roller, um, and put like it all in like a little skin fridge. I don't know, but they're so cute. They look like this. They're like little whales with little tails. So cute. And I just kind of put it on under my eye like this. They're actually like really cold. My friend Jonelle um, had these about like two years ago or something and then he had them and I was like, those are so cute. They're kind of like something that's cute to put on your face. I don't really know if they work again. Like, I mean, it feels nice, but. So the next thing is I'm just going in that, with that rose hip mask. I showed it in my, what I got for Christmas haul. Um, this one, literally like, there's like barely any left, but. I'm just gonna finish this up, go in with my little face mask brush. Oh my God, this is so much easier. <gasps> Why didn't I have these like, have this years ago? Cool. Cool. <laughs> so that's that. All right, so it's about like 10 minutes later, so I'm just gonna to rinse this off. I just take off these little whales. Like so. And then I'm just going to rinse it off. So that's pretty much that. So it's about 2.06 now. If I can focus, there it goes. 2.06. So I'm probably just going to watch some YouTube videos and like relax. I really like to do that at this point or catch up on any shows that like I haven't seen. Um, but yeah, nothing like too crazy. Look at my phone. I haven't really been on my phone all day. Um, I tried to like limit my phone use to, um, just because, I don't know, it's like not good. It's not always good to like look at social media. Um, I do normally like a social media like cleanse. I delete the app for like three to four months, Instagram, Facebook. I keep Snapchat because... I have like some streaks with um, friends and family and stuff like that. So I kind of keep Snapchat. But other than that, I delete everything for like three or four months. Um, I was going to do that. I actually deleted it when I came home on the 23rd from college. Um, and I deleted it. But then since I started vlogging, I also want to keep you guys up to speed on my Instagram. If you guys like to follow them, I need to take like some new pictures too. I have like a few outfits that I want to take like pictures in so maybe I'll do that this weekend but um yeah my little Instagram here's my if I can focus here's my Instagram right there I'll also link it down below um and yeah yeah so I think right now I'm gonna lay down and watch some YouTube videos and just kind of relax I do still have to pack because I am leaving for the Cape tomorrow um so I need to like pack up a few things 
Okay, so it's much, much, much later. So I finished packing um, some stuff to bring to the Cape. And I don't know if it's just me, but I'm literally going for three days and I have my whole room with me. I think it's just because I have no idea what to pack. <laughs> I just like bring everything because I think I'm never going to come back home. This is so far, I literally have like three bags, <laughs> all this, except I'm going to see G. So these are like his Christmas presents, his, oh, his Christmas presents um these two and then his shoes so i just finished packing and i think we're gonna go out to dinner my family and i so i'm gonna get ready and do all that stuff finish like putting some stuff together and probably just hang out with the family tonight um so thank you guys for all watching my day in my life it was really fun to film it was my first one so it might look different as I film more vlogs. Plus, please give me your comments, what you like, what you want to see more of. Um, as I kind of like figure out how I want to film and what I want to do. Again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video.